the final step in doing basic dialogue smoothing is spot treatment, which means you find isolated cases of sounds that are extraneous that you don't want to be there and you address them on an individual basis. So take a listen to this. Los que... Los buscadores. Sí, los que hacen las búsquedas. Okay. Sí, de cuerpos y... Okay, so this clip has a couple of problems. The first problem is there's an extraneous sound uh, somewhere here. You hear that? I don't know what that is. It's some kind of glitch. It's represented by this spike on the waveform. So here's how you can address this. Um, you see you have this horizontal bar that represents the volume, the level of the clip. If you hold down the Option key and hover the mouse over the bar just right, you will get this diamond next to your cursor, a diamond with a plus sign in the middle. If you click, it will put a point on the volume bar. That point is called a keyframe, and keyframes allow you to make isolated adjustments. So I'm going to put a keyframe there. I'm going to move over here, hold the Option key down, and I'm going to put a second keyframe on the other side of that spike. I'm going to put a third right over the spike itself, and I'm going to click and drag that keyframe down to zero. Remember, this bar represents the volume, so I've just made a steep valley uh, a dip into zero on the soundtrack. So let's take a listen to that. Los que... Los buscadores. Sí, lo... So you can still hear it just a little bit, but it's almost completely taken care of it. Now, the great thing about this technique is, even if there's a spiky sound over dialogue, it usually works as long as you use the three, if it's a three-point keyframe, okay? I was lucky this didn't really happen over dialogue. Uh, if it's a little longer than, you know, a spiky sound of just a couple of frames, then you need to use a different technique, uh, and that would be suitable for this problem over okay. here. Sí, de cuerpo, sí. You see, he hit one of his words very loudly into the mic, and it caused us to clip. It sent us into the red over here. Now, keep in mind, you know, most of this is at the right volume level. Buscadores. Sí, los que hacen las búsquedas. Peaking okay. around negative six, or at least between negative six and negative twelve, it's right where I want it. So we don't want to we don't want to pull the whole volume, you know, down, just to accommodate a couple of problem areas, and that's why these are spot treatments. So I'm going to make some keyframes, but this time, instead of one on each side, I'm going to put two on each side. And the key to this is to keep the keyframes as close to these, the, the inner two, the inner pair, as close to the offending sound as possible. And the outer ones should be fairly close as well. Then I'm going to move, uh, drag down the inner um, keyframes just enough, not all the way to zero, just enough to get rid of the red. Okay, the minimum required to get rid of the red. And let's take a listen. Okay. See the cuerpo, see. Okay, so it completely uh, solved the clipping and it's still pretty smooth. If you start to um, spread these out too far from the clipping area, you'll hear the, the voice go up and down, okay? Okay. See the cuerpo, see. So you want to keep it sounding pretty natural. And if you have music or sound effects going at the same time, you know, there's no way anybody's going to know that you manipulated that. Okay, so those are two techniques using keyframes to address uh, the final stage or the spot treatment stage of dialogue smoothing.